Hello and uh, welcome back or welcome for the first time. This is my NaNoWriMo Day 19 update and this is the Narrative Dude and my name's John. Uh, again, welcome. I'll start off as I usually do and ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment if you're so inclined. I really appreciate comments. Uh, I look forward to hearing back from you. I've got a question for you at the uh, end, too. I'd like to uh, pose and kind of keep running, getting some insights on it. It's, it pertains directly to something I'm right, some of the elements I'm including as I write. So, um, so yeah, and, uh, day 19, as I said. Uh, not a lot to report. Uh, good morning. I did remember one thing I'd like to put in here for today's entry. The idea of keeping a diary. Now, this isn't just, I've, I've mentioned before how I, it's, I'm not a full-blown plotter. I'm a pantser with some plotter elements, I guess, but I usually, I do keep an active notebook running as I write and any names I come up with, new details, whatever I, I need to remember, you know, I'll make note of it. Plus I'll make notes after my writing session, uh, purely for the mechanical aspect, but this morning I made a couple of notes uh, for myself, basically that were diary entries about how I felt, how um, how I saw the story developing, uh, my insights, uh, some of the things I wanted to talk about um, in these videos and in future videos. And it made me think that, you know, that's one thing that's really uh, not, uh, that I haven't seen talked about or at least mentioned that, you know, keep a keep a diary handy and uh, keep a diary on your story. I have a diary kind of more or less on every one of my stories, and it's it, you know, it's it has no value other than to me. It's just it's um, you know, keeping uh, uh, notes and uh, thoughts and those type of things. And they get as the story gets developed, they get to be sometimes more intense, as, you know, entries, and sometimes. You know, they, they trail off because I'm putting a lot more energy into the story. This story that I'm working on for NaNoWriMo has definitely got a lot of energy going into it. So I would say that I have not put as many insights and thoughts and things to kind of motivate myself or, you know, kind of you know, tear open the, uh, uh, the top of the, the can to see what is going on inside my brain as I write type of stuff. It can be very important, I think, to keep track of what, not just what we are writing, but how we are writing it and who we are while we're writing it. The fact is that we're all different people during, to, throughout the day. Now, the person I wake up as is not the person that go, that I go to sleep at, uh, and that's not just the, you know, the you know, spiritual evolution and change that everybody goes through on a daily basis. You know, our biochemical uh, uh, levels are different, our, our serotonin's different, all the, you know, uh, the, the things, you know, we, we, I really do think that we are essentially new people. It's why I, when I say I'm writing notes to my future self, it's because that future self, I'm not, you know, exactly sure. I've got a good idea of who that future self will be, but I'm not you know, always exactly sure how they will be. So it's important, I think, to keep that diary so that we can look back on, uh, you know, what we've done. Uh, I mean, we're not at, I'm, I'm certainly not at any memento level of, uh, uh, you know, only being able to remember a day and then completely recreating myself every day. I, you know, this is, you know, talking about the, the kind of the, just the normal stuff that we go through day to day. And um, it's important, I think, to identify those. Honestly, in the past, I've identified that you know, I'm, I'm really more creative early in the morning and, you know, up until mid morning. And for whatever reason, for whatever biochemical reasons, I always trail off. That's, uh, so um, I'm not particularly a morning person. I'd love to sleep in. Uh, I can sleep in, but I know that if I do, I'm going to miss the opportunity to be creative and to write, and to, that's that's what I enjoy doing. So, be that you know, take it for what it's worth, uh, and uh, uh, see if it's uh, something you can apply to your writing process. Now, the question I mentioned, I want to ask: it, 
It's a simple question. You know, how do you approach um, what I would call canceled words, or you know, thing? You know, there are a lot of there are a lot of phrases, a lot of words that in our you know, language that you know carry negative connotations. And you know, early in you know, there are a lot of words that were passed around and used in the 70s and early 80s, which is the background you know, social fabric for the story I'm working on. How do we approach those? How do we, you know, integrate them into our story? Because they would have been used in the story, and we wanted to have that verisimilitude of being this is from the '70s. Or so, you know. But we also want to be sensitive to people reading it here in the future. You know, where is that balance struck, and how do we strike it? If you got any ideas? How do you do it? Uh, whatever ideas you have, share them. You know, in the comments. I'd love to see what you say, and I'll integrate those into my uh, into another video uh, as soon as I see them. So here we go for the daily word count. This morning I did 1,948 words, uh, and uh, it puts me at and I'll put I got the little chart up here, one side or the other, wherever it'll fit, uh, showing the graph that. Uh, is developing and now I'm you know, getting a little bit above the graph each each day which is what my goal was uh, I'm right now I'm at, at 36,797 words uh, so that puts me in a really good position for uh, getting tomorrow and there are only being 10 days left I'm gonna write you know, I'm not taking any days off I'm you know, I have made a you know, commitment to myself to um, do uh, do my writing every morning to you know, hit that 50,000 words and to put out one of these videos every day during NaNoWriMo. Just, you know, I, I made that commitment to myself that, and I'm going to keep to it. I'm enjoying keeping to it. It's really keeping me motivated. So, you know, there I am. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, how you're doing, what your word counts are, and um, subscribe hit the like button I greatly appreciate it on my march to you know more subscribers and uh, as always you know, take care of yourself and uh, go out there and write a good story <laughs>